So then Jared. Yeah. Taught. He had to make us all look like fools. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. We were just playing. Jared <laughs> was the man this yeah. year. <laughs> there is no doubt he by far killed the biggest buck yeah. out of any. I, we weren't even close, I don't think. He hasn't no. had it scored. It doesn't matter. No. That thing was a stud. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Tell us about it. Yeah. And so I was elk hunting the last uh, few days before that. And every time I got service, I'd, you know, check my phone and the old man would text me and say, hey, <laughs> Jack's done. <laughs> Daryl's done. Scott's <laughs> done. And it, so, and it was super hot for elk. It was opening weekend. And so I told the guys I was with, hey, I'm, I'm heading out. See ya. Peace out. Yep. Going antelope hunting. So I called the old man that morning and just said, hey, I'm coming home. Like, you want to go now? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we can. So we loaded up and we headed out there. And Well, we're back at it again. It's, it's archery season, September 3rd. Um, we're headed out to the antelope spot. Something we look forward to every year. And we, uh, got about an hour before camp we're gonna set up camp and go set a blind up and hit it hard tomorrow and we've got seven days to hunt and the guys that we hunt with have been out here for the last couple days and every morning they well they got got out there well they drove from town and got out there and that morning they shot a goat so it's they said it's been nuts out here it's hot it's 94 degrees and it was 103 when we left town so it's good. The goats are watering like they, like we want them to. So it's looking good. So we're we're excited. But elk is not fun. <laughs> too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> too hot. And I hiked my butt off for three days and it was not worth it. So I was looking. I had this in the back of my mind. I wanted to do it. So I told the old man. I called the old man this morning and said, Hey, I'm coming home. Let's go go hunting. Because he kept sending me pictures and texts and I yeah. It's not, not fun. It's time. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. We'll check in with you guys here shortly. Let you know what's going on. Uh, watch us set up the camp. Sounds good. Take care. Out. It was a long night for us, I'll say the least. Right. I, I didn't want to get up in the next morning, but I heard uh, Frank rustling around out there so I jumped out and put cobwebs and sh tried to shake them off and got out there I think we got out there about 7 30 I think later and later than what we wanted to but oh in the morning yeah, yeah. so it, it but and he it was about 8 15 I think when we saw him he skylined and he came and He's up again. He's he's done. Don't do this to me. He's done. He's done. 
Well, yeah. first day, and it's we got her done already. Came into 26 yards. Yep. Got her done. Um, last night was a little rough. We got in late, <laughs> and we didn't go to bed till well, it was pretty late. So we we didn't get up early like we wanted to, and we didn't have anything ready. So we kind of rushed out here and kind of groggy and stuff and <clears throat> but we got her done so we got it figured out <laughs> so but you know I hopefully I haven't shot that too many goats so I can't pass up too much so I said I was going to be pretty picky but we'll see I think he's a pretty good goat I'm, he's a good I'm happy with him Tell the story. I was sitting in the blind for we were only in there for maybe an hour, if that. Dad looks back here and they come over the hillside and I didn't think they were gonna come in. And they slowly started to come in and I put started glassing them and I didn't know if I wanted to shoot them at first. And he got closer and closer. I saw his cutters and when they get closer, I, I have a hard time passing on things, so. Here she is, though. I'm happy, my best goat. I'm pretty happy with it. I think when we saw him, he skylined, and he came, and so I think it was like 8.30 when I shot him, but he, now he came around the side of the blind, coming 26 yards, quartering to me, I think, and yeah, then smoked, smoked him. him and didn't go too far, no. Yeah. I know it was fun. I, I was gonna be picky. I said I was gonna be picky, and then I saw his. As soon as you turned, you saw those prongs. Yeah. You were like, yeah, yeah, yeah you didn't done. need to be picky. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I know. You didn't so, have to hold out. No. There's just no. those was that the first, Was that the first buck that came in? Yeah, the only one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there's those critters where you just don't even have to go. I wonder what he scores. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. He just I like don't, uh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You know, and. Yeah. And that was the first time I've ever hunted out of somebody else's blind. Normally it's our, you know, the double bull 360 blind. And right. so you kind of had a, we were sitting there before, once we got Adjusting in there. Adjusting it. Yeah, trying yeah. to figure out how things work, you know. Yeah. And and those chairs, those are a, a game, game changer. changer. I'm going to, yeah, getting on your knees is, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, I'm overrated. Right it's overrated. It's, yeah, <laughs> my knees must be weak or something because I can't do it for very long. But those chairs, that's the first time I shot right. out of a chair. Where you can move around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. those yeah. rug so, burn sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they were. It was, I, I've done that a few I, times I'm, on I'm my knees. <laughs> I'm. Buying I don't one. want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't want to know that. And I ain't gonna tell you. 